the results we're going to see uh, on election night and the days afterwards, those aren't official results. What do we mean when we say official results? That's a great question. So oftentimes you may hear the media trying to call an election, um, which they do, and, and they're basically just doing math at that point, trying to determine, okay, you know, how many registered voters were there? What's left? Can I call this election? Is it likely that this candidate won? Well, as election officials, you know, everything that gets um, counted and tabulated, all of those results are considered unofficial until the county board of supervisors comes together in a public meeting and they officially adopt the canvas of results. So in order for that to happen, in addition to completing tabulation, the counties also have to do a lot of post-election day activities to confirm the accuracy and the integrity of the election. This includes logic and accuracy testing. This includes a, uh, a hand count of, of uh, random ballots. And so until the counties can come together and canvas, then everything prior to that is considered unofficial. Once all 15 counties have canvassed their election, those go to the Secretary of State's office, those county results, and the secretary will aggregate those to produce the statewide results. And they will also have a public meeting to canvass the statewide results. So again, until canvassing occurs, everything is considered unofficial. So when people say, oh, I remember in the old days, somehow we always knew the results on election night, it seems like that might be a little bit of a myth. That is definitely a myth. Uh, it has been this way for decades where we have never had official final results on election night just because of all of these procedures that need to come in place after the election. Um, one that, again, for those voters who legally have the opportunity to come in after the election to verify their ballot, uh, again, whether that's carrying a signature, or providing ID, um, and then also for all of those checks and balances that we have built into the system to confirm the accuracy and the integrity of the election. So our counties will not call these election results final until all of those security measures have been taken, until every ballot has been reviewed, verified, and tabulated, and until the county uh, board of supervisors comes together in a public meeting and officially declares those the results. So I think that's really good information, Gina. And I think it's important for voters to know, you know, as we come into Tuesday, number one, your ballot's got to be back by 7 p.m. on Election Day. And then over the next, over that night, in the next several days and weeks, you're going to want to be keeping your eye on what officials are doing to confirm the accuracy, to make sure that every vote's counted, and to make sure that all of those checks and balances Gina has talked about take or take place because that's how we ensure that Arizona continues to have a safe and secure election system that folks can rely on.